I thought I would provide you with an update on how NoTrack is progressing. Now, if you have not heard of NoTrack before, it is an open source project I'm working on to do a network-wide blocking of advert and tracking sites. Well, it's predominantly targeted at tracking sites, but in the process of blocking trackers, you do block adverts as well. Now, work has come on a huge amount. I've really made the web interface a whole lot more usable. I've just added this feature to temporarily disable blocking, either for a set amount of time or on demand. You can just pause and play it like you would a CD or a video. That's quite a nice new feature. So if you go to a website where it detects you're using ad blocking, no, it's not an ad blocker, but yes, if they detect that and prevent you from going further, you can just pause it through the web interface and carry on looking at the website and then re-enable it. Now, no track is very similar to Piehole. Actually, who am I kidding here? I'm just going to say this. It's a damn sight lot better than Piehole now. Not only can you add all the lists that Piehole have, you can also add in lists from Adblock Plus, the easy list that they provide. And I've got my own list where I've probably got the biggest list of tracking websites anywhere. <laughs> so no track is still in alpha release. Oh, it's usable, but it's just that I'm adding more features to it. That's why it's still an alpha. But I'm getting close to being a beta release, and then I'm actually going to formally release it, a 1.0 release, which uh, many open source projects don't quite see that number, but that is my full intention. So the features within NoTrack, you can look at the websites you visited or your systems have visited throughout the day. You can see requests from your own network, requests that are allowed, and requests that have been blocked. If you spotted something and you think that it should be in the block list, you can inform me by going across to this button here that says report site. Would you like to report that site? Yes, I would. Takes you off to my website and puts it on the list and I'll take a look at it at some point. You can take a look at information about the website. So you've got a search button. So it takes you across to Google search. You can look at who owns the website with the who.is. You can do a historic look back. This calendar doesn't work properly on the desktop version of Firefox, but you can look back and look as far back as your history can go. So have I got um, right back into January for uh, 20 days? Look at 20 days in January. I'm running no track on a Raspberry Pi Model 2. I think it could still be faster yet, but uh, come on, the information I'm making it look through here, it's quite a lot. So no track works in a few different Linux distributions, from Arch, Fedora, Red Hat, Debian, to Ubuntu. It's not directly compatible with Windows. To be honest, if you want to use it in Windows, at the moment, the easiest way is to install it on a Raspberry Pi. You can set up no track to be a DHCP server, so basically any computer that joins your network will automatically get all the blocking. All you have to do is switch off the DHCP configuration on your router and change a few settings. So when you click on that page, it will give you a link to the tutorial video that I made. There's a few different things you can change here through the configuration. So you can add or remove block lists. So you might decide you don't want to use my list, or you don't want to use the top level domain blocking list. So you can just untick it and then save changes. Now the Adblock Plus Easy List is not everything that Adblock Plus does. Because some of the blocking they provide is through certain elements on the web page, that's not something DNS can do. So I just take the information I can use out of it. And some of these other lists on here, uh, they're not all that brilliant. Uh, the malware domains is. A lot of the others, look, I've given you the chance to add it, but these are the same lists that Pihole use. So no track can effectively do what Pihole does and more. You can change the blocking message. So by default is a blank one pixel image, which is nice and quick to load. But if you want the information that the page has actually been blocked by NoTrack, you can change it to that and you'll get the message. And you can delete all your history, and that deletes the history for today as well as all the historic history. I'm not going to click on that button because I actually want to keep hold of my history. You can edit the block lists. So if I want to add a new site, it's optional whether you want to put a comment in here or not. You don't have to or you could just remind yourself what it is. Click Save. So changes will take effect if you don't hit the Update Block List button, but they won't take effect until overnight. And you can remove and disable the site from the list. White's list unblocks something you have blocked on one of your tracking lists. So take ebay.com, pop that back in, save and update. 
So now when I take a look at the blocking list, you can see that it's been disabled, so no blocking is taking place on it now. There's still a bit more I want to do on this configuration page. So I want to be able to do the modification of these top level domains through the web interface. And I want to add a way of importing and exporting the block lists. And the last bit here, we've got an options page, which you can force update the block list. So that means force download all of them. And you can restart and shut down your system. So that was a look around NoTrack. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.